Saturday Night Live hired a new uh, a comic, and he was doing a podcast a while ago, and it's very strange because it, though so everyone's trying to get him fired from Saturday Night Live because he did this old bit on a podcast for about Asians, and it's not it's like uh, I watched, and I'm like, God, man, that's it. It's the, hmm. the, this 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 culture we're in this toxic this culture, this culture? Can't, and what bothers me is some other comics went this is ridiculous get them fired have you seen sam tripley going at people online no sam's like get the f i'll remember this motherfucker like you guys want to screw this guy over biggest day of his life and uh anthony uh Jeselnik had the best thing he goes oh i'm so happy to see when uh a comic has one of the biggest days of his life someone tried to shit bring him down yeah a guy this makes is the culture laugh. we're in now yeah but it, have you seen it? It, it? Have you have you guys watched it? Mm -mm. I, I heard. Um, of, they I've might heard of it. bring up uh, Shane Gillis. You, you can find what were they, it. What were the comp, con, what was the joke about it? He went to an Asian restaurant. How hard it is to order? You should see it. I watched it. I say way more dicer stuff than that. I'm never. Well, how about how about fucking uh, Dave, Dave Chappelle? Huh, nah, nah, nah. He was like talking about being Chinese. I'm Chinese now. Remember? Yep, you know, I remember that too. I mean, <clears throat> we're so ridiculous now. But but and it's all. I guarantee it's probably not even Asians. It's probably white people going. We're too. We're woke. No, uh, we go for to Chinatown. That's that's the one I think that got him in trouble. You watch that. That 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 again. I don't know all of it, but I know that's. I watched that. That was what was on Twitter. So um, go to that one. And you got as as Asian Americans tell me if this offends you. It is full fucking. So that's him there. Just gotta get it signed. Like biggest deal ever for guns. Started. They just built one fucked up looking building, and people were like, "All right, no one said anything." Let Let's the fucking chinks live there, huh? <laughs> well, they built these fucking like huge Shanghai house. The first one. The was chinks come or not? Mm. Like, I'm what now. the I go fuck? I'm like, what are you guys doing here? Get what are you saying? That's how they were thinking. I, you know what? Yeah, true. Also, I'm always like, how can there be so many fucking restaurants down here? All rest. Well, because you go in, there's like one person eating ever. That white idiots like me are down there, true, sucking down neuters. I hate China. I hate the food at Chinatown. It sucks. I like Chinese that. food's a very dishonest cuisine. I don't even want to think about it. They invented a fucking chemical to put in their food to make it delicious, dude. It, well, it is. They made as MSG. Good for them. It's a dishonest food, dude. There's it's nothing. There's nothing to it. It's, it's shitty very meat. Honorable. Shitty meat. A chemical they made up to fuck your body up, and. <laughs> Noodles, neuters. I think the biggest problem is a terrible podcast. Cheapest thing in the world. <laughs> Keep going though. <laughs> Chemical. Because <laughs> yeah. you'll hear him trying. You can find. We got in there and we sat down. And this is what's giving me trouble. I'm so excited for neuters, and I was like, "Yo, chill, chill, chill." <laughs> she was like, "Oh my god, I'm so sorry." She said neuters. Yeah. And there's a fucking yeah, and it's it's full fucking Chinese in there. It's like and it's such well, isn't it? Isn't that kind of like nice though? Isn't that being like, when people go into like a Mexican restaurant like I'll have two tacos. Like, uh, I have a bowl of spicy neuters. <laughs> <laughs> but we had it in the translation between you and the waiter. Yeah. It's just such a fucking hassle. It's like, can you? I'm pointing at it. <laughs> like, this is the fucking yeah. neuter. Well, that's why I put number for like 57. Yeah, this one, even with the fucking shit. I was yeah. pointing. I was like, that sauce. <laughs> that. Like, yeah. She's like, yeah, that one. She's like, yeah. She's like, a mi medium or a spicy? Yeah. Like, uh, medium. She's like, <laughs> that's it that that was not am i off this, on this? is it? we know what he's saying there's no way this is why they want to fire no him. that's what he say that let me hear how it says chink it's crazy it is full fucking china it's yeah chinese down there i wonder how that started they just built one fucked up looking building and people were like all right no one said anything let let's the fucking chinks live there huh <laughs> So he's referring to other people. That's right. That the, say it. I mean, I don't well, think it's see, and that is what people. But say. scroll back. The, the, can you Google? Uh, I, it has to be something else. There's no way you want to get him fired from Saturday Night Live. That's crazy. There's no way. That's crazy. Um, Shane Chinese Gilles people have jokes dealt with too a lot far. of shit, but I mean, that's resurface drones. The community has heard using a racial slur against. See that? That's it. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. Matt and Shane's secret po China's fucking nuts, he says at one point in the conversation, which has since been deleted. Let the fucking chinks live there. So, yeah, that's honestly, what, it's that's it, dude. Yeah, I, don't, I wouldn't care. Wow. Cat? I don't... Mm, my biggest thing is, I don't think it was a very good podcast. I don't think it's anything to get in arms about. I mean... No. One guy fire somebody there. over, I mean... Yeah. Oh, no, they're, they're oh. calling for his job. You know what Lauren Michaels is doing? Nothing. 
Lauren Moxley. Okay, cool. Man. Good for him. Thank well, you, he, Lauren. He, he's so talented in his comments. Thank you, like, Lauren. I Let's thought they said they him. fired him, though. Did they fire him? No. So, yeah. No way. Over that? <gasps> yeah. He's. Oh, fuck. He's out. <gasps> no way. Wow. Fuck you. Oh, my God. Fuck you. That was 40 minutes ago. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Because on a podcast. Let's wow. see if he was fired or if he's just not doing it. Last Friday, most of the internet uh, oh, yeah. right searchable history. I've talked with Shane Gillis. We have decided that he will not be joining Saturday Life. We went to right voice. We are not aware of his prior remarks that have surfaced over the past few days. Oh, wow. The language he heard is offensive, hurtful. Fuck you. Wow. Fuck you. That's insane. That's amazing. I feel it feels ridiculous for comedians to be making serious public statements, but here we are. I'm a comedian who's funny enough to get in, that can't be taken away. Of course, I wanted an opportunity to prove myself at SNL, but I understand it would be too much for a, of a distraction. You know what? I feel bad for Shane Gillis. He put, I, I was he's always not a mad, bad guy. He's hey, not he put, a I was always racist. a mad TV guy anyway. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Fuck man, I feel bad. Oh for my that, dude. god! I feel bad for that guy. He lost, he, but this count, this cancel culture that we live in. Yeah. So who's so, happy so, now? So, 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 who's so, happy? so this is what happens. You get you lose your fucking the biggest opportunity of your life because you are making an offhanded comment about what other people say and you were saying it's true. It's true you go down to Chinatown and the guy doesn't speak English at all and you you know there's going to be confusion. It, it's, it's saying the word uh, chinks which got him in trouble. He was saying that's what people other say. People How were chinks saying, yeah. there. That, 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 that was that's, that's what people say. Oh my god! It doesn't mean he's racist. You're not dealing with a racist here. You, you're not. It wasn't funny though. That's that. Like, if you can't point it out before too, it's like he the, the wasn't funny. Was yeah, it wasn't funny. But it doesn't matter. But but how deep are we gonna go for this guy to to, to ruin? No, his I don't life think he should be fired. Saturday Night I Live. Don't. I mean, wow. Good luck getting on SNL. You? I'm screwed. Never. <laughs> my dream. Out. This is what this is what I mean though. It's I like, get you, know, you just create your own world. Fuck him. F the corporations like Google, corporations like and SNL now and, and NBC and stuff, they, NBC? They, they're so afraid to they're so afraid to even be nuanced about things. How do they you just they, they fold to the bullshit pressure? It's not even pressure. They fold to this horseshit noise on Twitter. No, hold on, hold on. And listen to this fucktard on here. It goes, it should go without saying, but Gills remi remains a popular, profitable comedian who has, under no defini ne definition, been canceled. If history has any indication, he stands to gain from his notoriety. I hope he does. At least at least people are talking about him. I'm sure he's a good comic. You know, you know what's a, oh, he's a great comic. You know what's a bummer? Is other comics went after him. Really? Yeah. What other comics? That you guys know? Yeah. Oh, uh, that sucks. I don't know. You know? I'm sure you guys could Google later. <laughs> no, no one in our circle. Who are they? I don't know. Schumer? Think. No. Who? You bring it up. Bring it up. I don't want to I don't want to be part of that. God, imagine gets the biggest call of your life on Saturday Night Life. The biggest call, and then a few days later people go, dude, that podcast you did however fucking long ago, that time you referenced Chinks, you're not wow. getting Saturday Night Live. Wow. These are these Jimmy O Yang, because he's a he's an Asian comic, so I, I don't know. Jimmy's get that. a great comic. I'm on the same bill I'm all the time. He's a great comic. He put as a comedian, I usually side with comedians on sense subjects, but this is just plain racist. It's truly disgusting. Stand up against this is just as important as supporting our Asian brothers and sisters. See, this I'm not, man has to go. I'm not Chinese. I will say this. I've said this. Before. So yeah, that's another point. Chinese point people, We're not Chinese. Chinese. By the way, I'm I've said Chinese. this before. I've yeah, said this many right. times. Chinese people in this country have dealt with a fuckload of racism. And a fuckload of violence, and a, a like a way more than people know. They just have. They don't. They just don't voice it. But the, the, there is no question that that chi people of Chinese descent, ethnic Chinese all over the world, have done incredibly well in every culture they immerse themselves in because of their culture, frugality, and all that, and 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 hard work and all that. But they have dealt with a fuckload, not only of prejudice, but 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 like literal massacres. Let me ask you, Brian. Let me, you so think I understand Shane Gillis is racist. No, but I, no, that's my point. I understand people's sensitivity, but at, I, what Shane Gillis here was doing was referencing how other people were talking about that in a very offhanded comment, and to take it away, I got a problem. Even when Daniel D. Kim says this, he's not saying it in the same context. 
He goes, there has to be a joke in there somewhere. He's referencing, it was an awful podcast. Even the content's not good. Yeah. He sh- fire him for having a bo- bad podcast, not for being racist. Scroll up. Who, who's who's the other comic? W. Kamal Bell. I don't, too. I don't. Kamal Bell goes hard. I'm a Bell fan. Dude. Who's that? He's on know. CNN. He has a yeah, show on he's CNN. Really, Kamal Bell is brilliant, man. On CNN, he's he's he's. I I really like him. So what's he saying? They're saying that's it's a joke that's already been done. And yeah, I don't make those jokes. Comics and TV. I, I don't make those jokes, and I've I've always been fairly sensitive to this, only because I have a little bit. I've read a little bit about what it is to be Chinese American Keep in this country. To? It's not easy, and hasn't been until very recently. Remember when in, in, in you ever see Crazy Rich Asians? Mm-hmm. When when those when they came into the hotel and the hotel maitre d was very rude to them, that was a reality. That's what Chinese people dealt with all the fucking time. Then then they got to a point where they had a lot of money and China earned their right and in, in place in the world. So I understand that people are very sensitive. Once again, this guy Shane Gillis is not the bad guy. I don't think he's racist, and we have to be careful Keeps going right after down. people like this. If he's the bad guy, everybody's the bad guy. Andrew Yang says he's for the record. Thank you, Andrew Yang. He doesn't believe he should lose his job. There you go. I like that. Thank That's you. That's a really, this is a part of the best Thank statement. you, Andrew Yang. Previously, Andrew Gillis Yang. referred to Yang as a Jew. Chink. Chink in an episode of Real Last Podcast by Comedians. That must be it. Because I remember, oh. was it you, Kat, that said Jew, Chink, Jew, or something like that? Someone yeah, said Jew, Chink. a lot of articles kept on referring to the comedian saying something about Yang as like a Jew chink. I don't Jesus. know. I, I couldn't find a footage from it though. Mm. So that. Right, so yeah. what I, from what I saw, if that was it, I, I, from what, what I just saw that podcast, I don't think he should Me too. From what I saw, there's no way that man should not be on Saturday that's, Night Live. That's how I feel. And Andrew Yang agrees. Although Jew ting is kind yeah, of that's a fucked up thing to call somebody. Again, I. I, 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 I think I, we're going on a tricky road when you're when you go back over time what comedians say and they go. Dude, four years ago, you said this. Of like, course. Oh, we're different culture, different of course, time. Of course. I was trying to be funny. I'm on a podcast with my friend. Yeah. What can you do? Yeah. It, it's, it's, my problem with it is this. Why do you make I that? What do you feel, think, Jen? I feel that most I people know. are, like, if you want to go after the bad guys, find the bad guys. Oh, that's what I'm saying. It, th- there are plenty the of bad fight, guys. Man. Yeah. You're fighting the this wrong is, fight. This is, this is not the guy to get rid of. This doesn't mean, it, this is um, such low hanging fruit. There are bad people and There's bad actors. Go out. after those guys. Yeah, yeah I, I think this is a waste of ammo. I really do. Well, and I think if you start doing this with people like like him and you start getting them fired, when you have to go after the real bad guys, you're not going to be as potent. No, you've used your energy. Yeah. And the other thing, what's like that uh, in Australia, I forget what she does, but she the, UFC, the UFC's going there, you know, that big Whitaker versus style bender? Yeah. She wants to not allow the ring card girls in. She was in in this movement. How are we gonna have ring card girls? Like, hold on. That's hilarious. That's the way they make money. Do you think you're pushing the women's right agenda forward? Who is this one? Who said this? Sally Cap. She's like the mayor lord of Melbourne. Melbourne. Bring her up. Let me look what, what she. <laughs> <Let me see laughs> she hold on. Before you do, how do you think she looks, Brian? I would imagine she wouldn't make seven the cut. eyes. I, I would imagine she wouldn't make the cut as a ring card girl. But let me just take a look at her. Do you think there's some weird jealousy going on? Does she Correct. never? Oh. It's not terrible, but she should. She 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 banned oil bunnies in NASCAR there, so she doesn't want. Uh, but but also that's not your fucking place to do that. No, no those girls money. are employed. That's that's within the make. So, a so what about Playboy? Can you not make a, a living uh, posing? No, hold on. So are women not supposed to use their bodies to make money? I guess not. Men do it. Yeah. Thunder down under. Yeah, they're all Australian. No, but for I most guess part. I guess they're being objectified, huh? Because you don't know what the fuck you're talking. But no, about. you're taking money and food out of their mouths. So do you think you're pushing the agenda forward? They, you know, how many girls want that gig? She sucks. She sucks because she doesn't get laid. Exactly. <laughs> get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here, you Jen? fucking politician. That Shane Gill stuff makes you sick, though, man. Wh- who loves power? These people want to control everybody. Tell you this right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Watch your tone. Uh, okay what's gonna happen what are you gonna do use some of that <laughs> boxing you've been doing <laughs> <laughs> oh, <you're> fucking disrespect. <laughs> hey. Hey.